Hey, what's up? It's Chanel. Welcome to a new episode of Vinyl Vinyl Vlog. Today's video is brought to you by you and also Pat Hopkins, Infernal Hails and Gratitude. Now, we ordered this a while back thanks to the Patreon, but there was a little hold up. No big deal. Sentient Ruin Laboratories, and one of, I mean, I've gone over this band, especially the last promo. The last promo tape really, really got me like, all right, like bring on the full length. And I'm talking about ceremonial bloodbath with their sophomore full-length Genesis of Malignant and Fruppy Entropy and Fruppy and Fruppy I'm sorry to the pronunciation police and to ceremonial bloodbath but when it comes to Canadian bestial black death metal like Ceremonial bloodbath, like they hit your Ross Bay checkpoints, but there's something that makes ceremonial bloodbath really stand out in my opinion. Like on Tides of Blood, it really I was like, whoa, like they're taking this formula that's been tried and true, but kind of doing their own thing with it. And I know a lot of bands do that, but still keeping it like, yo, did you hear that part? Like, that's how I know something's like badass. Like when I go back and like rewind it or I'll start the record over, like anything like that. Yeah, like that's how you know you have a banger. And also, when your guitar player is called Abysmal Berserker, yeah, you know you're getting some pure hellfire. Faceless Infinity on guitars and vocals, The Nocturnal Black on bass and vocals, and Nuclear Hammer thrown on drums. And I'll just read you, I don't have the LP for the new record, just got the cassette. So... I'll just read you this hype sticker because it does carry over. I was always though, I was confused by this part of it. And you, well, when I get to it, you'll know what I'm talking about. Vancouver, British Columbia, death metal horde, ceremonial bloodbath debut with their long awaited first full length album, birthing one of the most inverted, ho inverted hallucinogenic, and inhuman death metal obscurities to see the light all year. Influenced by bands like Blasphemy, Sarcophago, Mystifier, Beherit, Archgoat, Mortician. Now the Mortician one, I always was like, huh. Cause like I legit like listened for it multiple times. I never could like find it. And deicide. Now, maybe lyrically, I, I, I don't really know, because like I, when I listen to Ceremonial Bloodbath, the last band on my mind is Mortician. So again, it could be like an inside joke. I, I don't know. All I know is I love Ceremonial Bloodbath. And here with Genesis. A malignant entropy. I just feel like the band really, really upped their songwriting. Just the sonic poison that is these tracks. Like, they're just gnarly sounding. There's like this intensity, like, especially in the drum sound. Like, the drums on this recording, especially with like the vocals kind of going from like guttural like a like kind of guttural to like 
regular blasphemy esque. Like it's just really well done and well executed, and just nothing but hails to ceremonial bloodbath. They're up there with like profane order. Like I honestly, you know. I, do you need both? Yeah. Yeah, you do. In my in, in my opinion, and you might be like, nah, because like you need your blasphemy and you need your conqueror. So, yeah. To me, modern, without, you need, you need ceremonial bloodbath just as much as you need profane order. You get what I'm saying? I should have mentioned they're from similar areas. But this is a uh, Montreal. And so like pretty much two different parts of Canada playing a similar style of like gnarly bestial death metal black death metal but like still it's death metal at the end of the day bestial black death metal and the death metal is really up front though on genesis of malignant entropy entropy i'm so sorry but like the ritual of unholy descent Exhumation of the ominous, bloodlust, rage of vengeance, the boneless one, loathing swarm, caustic invocation, dissonance of morbidity. That sounds like a badass band name. Like, yo, I'm going to see dissonance of morbidity tonight. See? Like, that's a cool band name. Mutilation of sacrifice. That's just a sick song title. The Invocation of the Tomb of Mankind. I bet that was an album title at one point. But I love how they have like some of those parts where it sounds like... like it reminds me more of like Morbid Angel. Where they do like the... It sounds like flies like swarming when they do like certain tremolo picks. And just like I said, the speed... Ceremonial Bloodbath bring their A game to Genesis of Malignant and Profi. Gnarly. Front to back, just insanity nice tape cosmetics like i would like to get this on, on vinyl eventually i'm happy with the cassette at the moment and uh again thank you to the patreon as well as uh pat but uh there's like a lot of like just like the artwork and stuff. I just think it's like really, it, it's different. It's not like, you know, your typical goat with a giant dong. Like, I'm being, I mean, like, seriously, I love that shit. You know, I love that shit. But, like, you know, it's not, that's not what the, like, they went a different route. Like, that's what I mean. You don't have to just, like, be like, well, Black Witchery did it, so. You know, why not? No, no, I, I like when bands do shit like this and just go outside of the box a little bit of what's expected. Uh, I'm just looking real quick. Mastered by Brad Boatwright, Audio Siege, cover art, Matt Sidney. Like, again, I would just love, I have 
like a poster of his from the last album on my wall over there. I love his artwork. Which is another reason why I would love to get this on wax. I know like that that's but also it just sounds super gnarly. And I love when band members work on their own like albums and stuff. Like cover layout by Nuclear Hammer Throne. So like the drummer made sure like the cover was dialed in. Like I I, I like shit like that. Uh Yeah, um, recorded in uh, by uh, Jesse Gander at Rain City Recorders, Vancouver, British Columbia, April 28th through the 31st, 2022. And uh, the Nocturnal Black did the layout, which, um, yeah, I'm guessing that means, you know, insert art by Graham Christofferson, and that is some sick shit. Like, I just, I just, I dig that type of stuff. Caustic Invocation, Bow and Hear the Cries, Fires Vomiting, Infernal Armageddon, Serpents Hissing, Commanding Devastation, Destroyer, Annihilator, Antichrist Who Dwells Within the Void Places, Baphometic Goat Lord, Ritualistic Perversions Invade, Unholy Legions March, A Universal Mind, Cut at the spine. Oh yeah. Ceremonial bloodbath. Genesis of malignant anthropy. I wish, I hope I'm saying that right. If not, I am legit sorry. But, thanks again for watching. As always, you fucking rule. When it comes to the new ceremonial bloodbath, some of you will... Be like, I've heard this a thousand times, and you're wrong, but that's your opinion, so it's whatever. You're just missing out on some pretty sick shit. That's all I'm, I'm going to say, because this is a banger right here. So don't sleep on Ceremonial Bloodbath, especially if you like your death metal more like Bestial and like Savage. Because it's hard to honestly find a band that does it well and without really going overboard. Because it's hard to not, like, legitimately, like, not take it to the point where it goes off the rails. That's one of the coolest things about this record. It, it has times where it feels like it might go off the rails but never does and just keeps kicking your ass and you keep coming back for more also because there's a lot going on so like that's kind of the hallucin like why like that's why you know dropping the hallucinogenic tag it really has this like uh where is it i was the the new spirit when Wait, yeah, yeah, the new spirit possession. It has this like legitimate. Oh, I was a, I'm an idiot. I was listening. It's right. It's over there. But um, I am. Oh my goodness! I was being so lazy. But like, this has. I don't want to spoil because I I'm gonna review this soon. But like. Of the Sign has this, like, crazy spiral-type sound. Like, I can't explain it. Like, you, it's, like, just... But Ceremonial Bloodbath have a similar... But, like, it's way more vicious. Where it's kind of subtle at first. And then I realized it with Spirit Possession. I was like... This, like, sounds like it was, like, written in, like, this crazy spire. Like, I don't know. You'll, you'll see. But for right now, if you're just looking for some total bestial devastation for your weekend, Genesis of Malignant and ent Entropy, Entropy, however the fuck you say it, 
Just listen to Ceremonial Bloodbath and you will win. Thanks for watching as always. You fucking rule. Brown pants are back. Oh yeah. Brown dickies. Hell yeah. And they're the skateboard ones. So they're a little bit thicker. So like if I fall or something, I won't blow my knees out. Slim fit. And like they're made of this like flexi material. Size 33 waist. 32 length leg. Like they fit good with my boots. So I'm stoked. <laughs> I needed new pants so bad. Like I would I would just ride my bike and I'd have so many holes in my pants, it would just be cold. So go listen to some ceremonial bloodbath, Genesis of Malignant Anthropy, and enjoy. Released on Sentient Ruin Laboratories. Fucking A. Thanks for watching again. Peace. <laughs> yeah.